Hey guys and welcome back to Studio One with me Gregor. Today's mixing topic is parallel compression, one of the most popular techniques out there to really improve the punch, the emphasis and the clarity of any kind of audio signal without it losing too much of its original naturality and dynamics. And it's super easy to set this up in Studio One and why you should start using it right now if you're not using parallel compression already, that's what I want to show you. Parallel compression describes the process of copying any audio signal and compressing that copy way more than you usually would. And you blend that together with the original to keep the best out of both worlds. You maintain that clarity and that naturality from the original dynamic range and you still get the overemphasis and the exciting accentuations from the compressor at the same time. My favorite quote on parallel compression that I've ever read on the internet is that it's mixing magic from Hogwarts because that's really what it is. You can take any kind of signal that's lacking a bit of punch and emphasis and greatly improve it with this technique. Of course you have to be careful not to overuse it but if you want to bring something into focus more in your mix then there's few techniques as effective as parallel compression and it's so easy to set this up in Studio One. So as an example I have like a drum group here and I've mixed the individual tracks as best as I could and they're going into a bus channel together where I don't have any processing yet and let me just play what I have for you so far. And it sounds fine, but my major issue with this is that the kick drum is super dry while the snare is super wet and far away, distant, drenched in reverb. And it almost seems as if every element of this drum kit is standing in a different kind of room, which is of course very unrealistic and so it sounds not like one consistent mix, but various tracks laid on top of each other, right? And that's not what I want. I want everything to be glued together and perceived as one. And parallel compression can greatly help with that because it brings everything a bit closer together. If you want to learn more about compression and what compression is, I have an entire video manual that explains the basic concept. So if you haven't watched it already, please go ahead and check it out first because we're going to take the lessons learned from that video and apply them to the extreme today in parallel compression. Let me show you. So we go to the effects browser in Studio One to set up parallel compression. It's so easy, trust me, it's crazy. And now we're gonna scroll down until we find the splitter plugin that's right here. And that splitter plugin will divide the bus channel into two separate streams that we can process independently from each other. We can actually split it up to five times, which is great for multiband applications, but today two splits will suffice. And now you might think, wait a minute, how is that different to just creating an aux or a send to duplicate that channel and process the second half of it. Well, the advantage is that you don't have to duplicate the channel in your mixer console. And also the splitter plugin does this with perfect gain compensation. So that's already taken care of. You don't have to do this manually. And so an AB listen comparison is much easier to do with the splitter. It's just a super convenient way to set this up without any extra routing required. It's just a plugin. And that's why I love the splitter so much. It's just so convenient. Okay, so now that the splitter is on our bus channel, we can decide what kind of split we want. A normal split takes the channel signal and divides it in this case into two separate streams with minus 6 dB each so that the overall volume does not increase when the splitter is inserted. That's what I mean with gain compensation here. And now we can insert an effect here on just one of the streams and this allows us to set up parallel compression very nicely which means that we have a compressed signal in parallel to the original channel signal and we can mix both together until we find that perfect balance. Alternatively, which we're not going to cover today, we could also do a channel split which divides the channel stream up into a left and a right channel. This can be very cool for some advanced stereo processing. We can also use that for mid-side processing with any plugin that we want, which is quite impressive but not the topic of today's video. And finally, a frequency split which would allow allow us to do multiband processing, yet another topic, but that's not what I want to cover today. So we just keep it in normal split mode for today. And now we can insert 
any kind of compressor that we want. It would be great to use a coloring really obvious compressor here because we want to make that second stream as overemphasized as possible in order to mix it together with the original and get the best out of both worlds. So I'm gonna go for the fat channel here and I can just drag the fat channel into the right stream or the left stream. It doesn't matter in this case because these are identical of my splitter. Okay, and once I've done that, I can just open it up. And in this case, I really want to use the fat comp that Fat Channel XT comes with. And I want to compress the hell out of this. So I'll set the compressor with a crazy input, something like this, and attenuate the output a little bit, maybe like so, and set a super fast attack and super fast release, which is on this compressor on the right. Normally it's on the left but here it's inverted because it's modeled after a famous compressor um, with the 11 digits at the front. So now we get a compressor that reacts instantly and we want it to react in the most extreme way possible. So we just got to press all of the ratio buttons that any signal that goes past the internal threshold gets squashed down. And if we listen to this in solo, it sounds absolutely bonkers, of course. Right, that's, that's like, what? Way too much, right? But as soon as we mix this to the original, let me just bring this all the way down so I can bring it in gradually, you'll see that it glues the drums together in a magical Hogwarts way. Check it out. So this is with parallel compression. This is without parallel compression. With parallel compression. And without parallel compression. So hopefully you could hear how effective parallel compression can be in emphasizing and bringing out any kind of signal that you want. And with that, thank you for watching.